good evening welcome to dot programming dot blogspot.com uh, today i'm talking about how to save and retrieve document file into database uh, in binary format so it's a simple scenario uh, first of all cr uh, create a database in visual studio by using visual studio uh, uh, in which uh, we can take variable binary f mm, with the maximum size to load uh, document file because uh, also we use path of the document file to save uh, into the uh, database but uh, here we take mm, variable binary uh, data type to save uh, document file so uh, create a table in database if you want to see uh, if you want to check uh, how to create a database in ASP.NET by using Visual Studio uh, in previous video tutorials I described in details so please check how to mm, create fields in the table also assign the data types how to make identity column and many more things so mm, here is a id the property identity specific and that is is identity that is true and the name content type and last one is data <coughs> the content type uh, take hundred uh, and the last one is that is data and data takes variable binary format with the maximum size yeah that's fine if you want to insert some item by using uh, ASP.NET code or you can say C-sharp code simple connect uh, the database table um, with the front end by using SQL connection class so uh, to do this task first of all add a web form in Visual Studio add document dot ASPX in the design window add a simple button control add document first of all get the file path of the document file so first of all add a document folder in website fold uh, in website so I have a docu f 
uh, names folder now add a document file from the uh, from computer that is here style dot docx there is a document file in the docu folder now assign the path by using server dot map path here server dot map path get the absolute path of the of your docu folder mm, here we use styled symbol through which we can reach uh, the root of the folder that is website 10 in website 10 we have a docu names folder and in which we have a document file okay that's fine now get the file name by using the file path so uh, here we have a path class that is available in system.io namespace yeah using system.io namespace yeah using system.io namespace dot get file name get file name now uh, path of the st uh, file that is file path yeah that's fine now um, we have a file um, file name in the file name and I want to use a file stream class to convert uh, the file into the binary format so it's a mandatory uh, class to convert actually into the byte formats so uh, that is file path and file mode that is open and many more things file mode dot open and file access dot read give the access permission to the file that is file path okay now use binary reader to read uh, the file stream binary reader is fs actually uh, fs file stream class now convert uh, into the bytes form uh, bytes array so br is a binary reader dot read bytes is a method in which we can pass integer types that is the length of the file stream length okay that's fine now close uh, the binary reader as well as file stream now create a connection um, with the database by using SQL connection class that is already in discussed in previous uh, tutorials con equals to new SQL connection it's too uh, much simple Here we assign connection string letter con dot open by using insert command insert into uh, table that is the name of the table that is document and assign the uh, field names that is name 
content type and data comma data and in the values field assign the name by using at the rates symbol that is uh, the verb item literal control in C sharp and CT it's denote to content type and DT is for data okay now assign values uh, in the local variable that is at the rate nm at the rate ct and at the rate dt with a specific data type so create a parameters dot add at the rate is nm comma sql db type system uh, which is inside in system dot data namespace oops actually system dot data is not imported uh, above namespace with the above namespace so here we use system dot data dot sql db type dot variable type character dot value the name of the file which is get from the file name so assign the file name here similarly we do with this uh, other uh, variable that is ct and dt in the ct assign the content type application slash app dot ms word cmd dot parameters dot add ct in class of uh, sorry dt in class of ct and the value is bytes okay that's fine now assign the connection to the command that is cmd dot connection equals to con cmd dot execute and carry okay create a connection string by using sql data source control pick the database and copy this connection string and close and also cut at the sql data source because here we uh, have not need the sql data source sign the connection string with the verbatim literal okay that's fine and run this code in browser It's take too much time to uh, run this code in the browser because that is the first time to load the project in the browser. So click to add button. Oops, 
we are getting the error yeah it is i convertible type oh uh, the bytes is not uh, converted into the variable type character so change in place of a uh, variable character binary format so change dot binary okay that's fine save this and back refresh now click to add okay yeah so thank you thank you very much uh, see you in the next video tutorial thank you thank you very much